Hello. Under normal circumstances, in a dark room, you want to turn on some light. And so, they have the switches. You simply turn on the bulb. There it is. We've got some light. And obviously, you can see me. Welcome to the Zambian Genius, the home of Zambia's creative thinkers. Today, we are in Silverest of Lusaka, just like a few kilometers heading into Chongwe. A beautiful environment, very quiet, providing a conducive environment for a Zambian creative thinker to think and bring out the best out of him. You want to find out who we've got. Anita, she's thinking. She's a creative thinker there. What she's thinking about, we don't know. But the most important thing to note is that you will be amazed at what sort of a genius comes out of her. So stay on the Zambian Genius. What I've got, a beautiful aircon. There's an iron, pressing iron. This is your internet. And then we've got our television set. We want to watch the Zambian Genius, don't we? Every Sunday and Monday. And then, we've got our bulb. What comes off it is what makes me be visible, as you can see. Very visible, because of a bulb. The other electronic gadgets that are attached, not to worry, don't worry, everything's going to be fine. Uh, but Anita here wants to have a little bit of some rest because she's done a lot of, of, of studying and she's got the phone there <laughs> so all these are powered by electricity what we want to find out is there any other way that we can challenge switching on and off a television set such as the one that we have here is there any other way that we can challenge switching on and off that bulb that's above in the ceiling take it for instance you are at home you are a busy man and the time is telling you it's no time to knock off, you are still at work. And then you've got your people back here at home. Maybe they do not know how to switch on the television set. Is there a way we can creatively think of how things can be done remotely? Maybe there's a way. Only on the Zambian Genius. Once the chickens are eating, it will be rising. Uh -huh. As it is rising... Aha! Uh -huh. So once the feed is finished, yes. it rises up to an extent that these two touch each other. Yes. Then that's where the I see the sense. Whenever even at, I'm at a shopping mall, I've packed like this. I don't have to go and reverse. What I'll do is uh, I'll just put the vehicle on neutral and then I lock the steering that side and then I come here and then start it. Off I go. This is a part, yeah, which can control this engine. Yeah. Okay. Then this is for turning. Yes. Then this is for the hand to move up, up and down. Yes, and down. Like the way you see. Then this is used to control the hand. Yes. <laughs> There shouldn't be anything complex that's just Ah, you, be serious. <laughs> I see a whole lot of complications already. Yeah, no, that's just, just my, my, my complication, yeah. You're on the Zambian Genius, and the girl is genius, isn't it? That's Anita Zulu there, and she's on the Zambian Genius. And today, we are meeting Tutu Zulu, the father to Anita. Beautiful girl and smart. We hope that she's going to adopt the traits of the father. Good to meet you, sir. Thank you so much. Great. I've been a technician for the past 14 years, and recently I transitioned into being an engineer. What's the difference between the two? The difference is uh, a technician, most of the times you spend time uh, fixing and also repairing uh, things which are already created. 
but as an engineer, that's where now you do the input on the actual designing and also trying to uh, create uh, solutions, especially for the problems like uh, which I was facing when I was a technician. Thinking of coming up with things that are not already there, for example, that's what an engineer advances to do. Exactly. What course have you done? I've done uh, electronics engineering. At which institution? I did it from uh, Information and Communications University. In Zambia. In Zambia. So it, it's good to note that universities in, 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 in Zambia are able to bring out people that are able to, to create things. We'll be able to see what he's done. Remember, we mentioned that she could probably get some traits from daddy. So let's wait and see at the close of the Zambian Genius Program for today. Um, how many institutions have, have you worked for? Well, I've worked for two institutions, and one of them was ZNBC. That's where I started my career there. Great. Back in 2008 and 2009, I was based at Kiro Studios as a technician. That was uh, straight when I was uh, from Wansha Trades uh, Training Institute. So, his genius is because we are contributing as NBC as well. <laughs> exactly. exactly. As so, you say, uh, much of uh, what I've used here uh -huh. is because of the principles which I got uh, from uh, ZNBC. And also later on, I uh, joined Mount Street Zambia, where of course I held a very high position till the time I left. But of Fantastic. course, the reason why I left, it's a topic for another day. Indeed. Exactly. You no, know, the most important thing is to know that you are still making use of the, your ingenuity. And, and you've added, in short, to what you, you already experienced at workplaces. Thank you. That's uh, so we'll leave Mr. Zulu to, to tell us why you innovate. Don't, don't mention it just yet. We'll be demonstrating in, in a tiny bit. Okay. But what is it that you were looking at for you to innovate? Well, what I was looking at is uh, this same gadget here, mm -hmm. because I've seen that uh, up to now, the world is able to produce TVs, but no one has taken care to protect them. So criminals actually take uh, advantage of that, and you can get a TV like this one, of course, is less than 10,000 kwacha, but others, they go up to about 22, others even 40,000 kwacha. You put it in your house, the next uh, day you wake up, it's not there. Mm. So I was uh, thinking, how can I how can I protect or how can I add value to protect such devices all over the world? Mm -hmm. Because I've noticed that there's a loophole all over the world. No one has taken that idea and also creativity of trying to, to protect uh, devices like this one. Okay. I was also looking at it from the other angle, uh, like I will demonstrate. Uh, like, um, let's say you're at the office, you also have a farm. How can you do the watering from a distance in the comfort of your office? Mm -hmm. All those uh, principles are able to be applied. And also in the law enforcement, you will notice that um, many of the times, like if they want to find a gadget like this one, uh, mostly to be through maybe searching and the like, yeah, but with uh, such, uh, uh, such a product, of course, you're able to track it and then you even know where to find it. So, of course, there are a lot of application I'm trying to achieve uh, through the use of such. So you have multiple innovations in short. Exactly. Security. Exactly. Maintenance and exactly. things like that. Exactly. I can't wait anymore. Let's get to it. Once if chickens are eating, it will be rising. Uh -huh. As it is rising. Aha. Uh -huh. So once the feed is finished, yes. it rises up to an extent that these two touch each other. Yes. Then okay. that's where the I see the sense. Whenever even at, I'm at a shopping mall, I've parked like this. I don't have to go and reverse. What I'll do is uh, I'll just put the vehicle on neutral and then I lock the steering that side and then I come here and then start it. Off I go. My name is Ganza. My name is Pangira. My name is Shops. My name is Mukat. My name is Mashops. Put me in my right. Put me in my It is a part yeah, which can control this engine. Yeah. Okay. Then this is for turning. Yes. Then this is for the hand to move up, up and down. Yes, and down. Like the way you see. Then this we use to control the hand. Yes. Ah, there shouldn't be anything complex. That's just ah, my... you be serious. <laughs> I see a whole lot of complications. Yeah, no, that's just, just my 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 complex idea. Yeah. Well, talk is cheap. Let's just get down to the ground and see what Mr. Tutu is able to produce for us and exactly what he's got for us on the display. So where are we starting from? Well, we're going to start from this little gadget here. So this one is uh, what we are calling Internet of Things uh, box. So in here, there is a microcontroller. 
and then also there is some uh, relays which are of course uh, using to control the output and also in it there is uh, some step down transformer which we are using to power the semi-controller so that it can be able to control these other devices just still on it sure. because i can see it, it won't electrocute me no, no. okay thank okay. you I'm, I'm not too good with electricity okay. so um just for the sake of you our viewer there it is. So this is like your normal um, cable to the socket, right? Exactly. Uh -huh. And then it comes in here. Exactly. And then on the outer side, he has put... This is like the one from any a, a TV. That's correct. And like then, on, a, on a switch like this uh -huh. one. Yes, and then please. put attached to, to, the, to the bulb there. To the bulb. Yes. And then this one comes from this side again and to here. Yes, yes. Because this is, uh, we want to also control these two devices. So that's why we have... We are passing it again through this. Uh, okay. So in short, this from the main power source to here, and yes. then from here to the gadgets that you want them connected to your ingenuity. Exactly. So what we have like, is the TV. Yes, we have the TV. We also okay. have the pressing iron, and we also have the same bulb. Okay. So there, there it is. I want you to see that. So instead of the TV connecting to this socket here, yes, it is connected to this one. Yes. And the reason is why we are here. Exactly. And then the iron is yeah. there. Instead of connecting it there under normal circumstances, yes. it is connected to this one, which is not connected to there, but to here. Exactly. Like an interlink. It's interlink, yes. Great. Interface, yes. Okay, cool. Okay, then? Okay, so once this is connected, you now need a smartphone because uh, almost everyone today they use a smartphone. Mm -hmm. So on the smartphone, of course, uh, this is still work in progress. Only my phone is wired at the moment. But of course, uh, very shortly, we should be able to download the app on uh, Google Play as well as Apple Store. So it will be called Engineer Tutu. Uh, I've named it after myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, of course uh, we have to show that we're able to do it even in, uh, in Busaka. So you have created an app exactly. that works in connection with your ingenuity here. Exactly. And it's called Engineer Toto. Engineer Toto. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so this is what this app uh, basically will have at the moment. There are only two relays here. That's why you're able to see two buttons here. But of course we are able even to add some more buttons for you to, if you want to control quite a number of things. So these are two buttons represent uh, these two outputs which are here. Okay, so this one is is for is for this this uh, switch here, to the left, to the, the right, exactly. Okay, and the, this cable to the left, to the left. Yeah. So let's say if I want to turn on this bulb, I will just come on here mm -hmm. and say to turn on. Wow. <laughs> and also, it doesn't matter where you are. Uh -huh. Yeah, I can be at work or I can be out of the country. If I want to still like turn it on, it should be able to work. If I want to turn it off, I'll just uh, turn it off from there. And if I want to turn on the TV, <laughs> yes, it's um, let's say the the I was watching, mm -hmm. then the, suddenly there's power outage, <laughs> then we go to sleep, <laughs> then zero three power comes. I don't have to wake up from the bed to come and turn off uh, the things here. All I need is just to get the phone, and then let's say if, uh, like right now I want to turn it on, so I'll just uh, go there. Mm -hmm. And there the TV comes on. Okay, so wow. if I want to turn it off, for some reason, uh -huh. where you have come, we are talking, we get, jump into your vehicle, we drive out, then I notice that when anyway, I was uh, doing some, uh, I was using the pressing iron or any other, I would just uh, go there and everything will turn off. off. Exactly. And the beauty about this app is uh, there is also an advert I see that uh, switch and save. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because many other times when, uh, like in a room, you can't choose that you let the bulb uh, go on the whole day. It's only that we don't know. So let's say, for instance, you left when it was still dark and you're at the office, you can still look here and check what is uh, on. So if you notice that the bulb is on, you can actually even switch it off because it's connected in real time to the gadget you are uh, controlling. Hello, cameraman. <laughs> this is great thank you did you develop the app yourself yes the app uh, i developed it myself and it's still in progress because there are some other things i have to add, uh, add on before i actually put it on google play great yes this is amazing what what's the home page what's the outlook on the home side of, of it you just have to open it like that yes it just has to be open like that those are some few uh technicalities i'm still uh, working, on. working on yeah because of course uh, i was doing it as my final year project mm -hmm. so there was a lot of rush while you to, were in, in, in university exactly just to make sure that i have it uh, ready before graduation this is great I'm, i want to have a feel of it but is it 
user friendly? Yes, it is user friendly. Uh, like all the engineering principles, we are uh, well followed because if you look at the same box, there is um, a lot of electronics. Mm -hmm. There is also some ICT involved. There is also some telecommunications. So all those are f uh, f about three categories brought together, put into that box. So like all the engineering principles were well followed. And all done by yourself. Exactly. Graduated already? Uh, not yet graduated. Wow. Uh, sure. This is amazing. This is amazing. I w uh, can we call baby Anita and see if even the children can be able to maneuver around? Sure. Stay with us as, as daddy goes to, to call baby Anita. So in short, as he, as he does that, I'm going to, to still try it out. So all you need from him, you just need the engineer to, to up on the phone installed once he's done working on it. And then he's got to come and connect you to his ingenuity. Everything that he has engineered is in this little box here. Not made in outside Zambia, made in Zambia. And then once you connect to the main power supply, this time around you may not even need these. We might just need this box up in there. So, what he says, if you want to switch on there, you just simply... Am I doing the correct thing? Okay, so that's the TV set. Off. So, little baby is with us. I want you to switch on, switch on the bulb for us. Here. Switch on the bulb. Okay, she's switching on the TV. Ah, oh, she switches on both. There it is. So it's very, very user friendly. Even little girls can be able to to do it. What, what, why, why did you do this again? Just to emphasize. Well, what I, why I did this, I was um, looking at improving uh, people's lives. Yeah, because we live in a busy world. Not all the time we can be in one place for you to control certain appliances. Uh, yeah, so I came up with this so that you can be able to control them from remote, mm -hmm. from a distance. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter where you go, you should be able to control such uh, devices. And I can, I can imagine persons with disabilities, if they want, they can just be there. Exactly. Switch on and off the TV. Exactly. The bulb on and off. Yes. And you say it doesn't matter the distance. So somebody can be in there and the children are here. They've got some, maybe they, they want to sleep, they've slept already. You yes. can still switch it off. You don't need to come out. No, you don't need to come out. So it can be anywhere. It's not restricted to distance. It's also not restricted to obstructions. All you need is the internet connection as well as the phone. You can connect it to the Wi-Fi the way I've done. Or maybe if you're using your mobile data, it can still be connected and the two will be able to be talking. Mm -hmm. Yes. This is great. At the moment, what do you need for this to be actualized? Well, what I need is um, uh, just completing the app, which, uh, which is still in progress at the moment, and also uh, order more parts and start assembling. So we we'll just need people to be doing the assembling. And also we need other people to be doing the coding because mm -hmm. there's quite uh, some amount of coding. And uh, of course we will even empower, empower other youths uh, to, to be able to create some employment for them. This already is employment creation because somebody will be able to play around with the app. Yes. Another one do the electronics in there, the coding yes. and things like that. Exactly. That's three people already I can sense. Yes, and also the ones who to do the assembling. Mm -hmm. Because like uh, myself, mm -hmm. yeah, I've been doing electronics for 14 years, so I'm able to do the circuit. Let me just uh, show you inside. It's okay. quite uh, some amount of work. Mm -hmm. So when you're an engineer, it doesn't mean you just be there sleeping. No. You've got to think. Exactly. And this is, I hope we are not going to expose anything that you think people can duplicate. Uh, no, not, not really. They no, can't. Not this, really. this is genius. Yes. You don't well, just wake up and become, <laughs> no, no, and no, create no. this. No, no, really. No. Okay. Sure. Wonderful. So we're just trying to see what's inside there. Sure. And this is an innovation by Tutu Zulu Engineer. So already, if, if somebody wanted to like get this, and you put it up in their house. Are you able to do it? Yes, I'm able to do it. And also, I'm not just targeting houses. I'm also targeting uh, businesses. Because you notice that I've put this in here. Mm -hmm. This is a 55 uh, inch television. So what usually happens is if you're done with uh, repairing, there's this part which is uh, labeled uh, 
there. Mm -hmm. This is high voltage. So if you are working in such area, then when it comes to testing, it can blow up and uh, it can even cause permanent injuries on you. Mm -hmm. But with uh, such a device, you are able to put this at a distance and be able to turn it on from a distance. And if it means exploding, mm -hmm. at least it won't explode in your Safety. face. Exactly. So we are not just targeting homes, mm -hmm. we are also targeting businesses and also any other, just to make sure that we also improve uh, their okay. lives. Um, I'll ask my camera not to get too close to you. I know okay. it's ingenuity, but just stay away completely. Uh, just, just show a little bit from far. So these components came from there? Uh, no, no, these ones, uh, we just uh, bought them the way they are, and then of course uh, tried to put them together. Of course, uh, following all engineering principles, mm -hmm. so there's no heat attached to it. Okay. Yeah, so everything is very, very safe and it's user friendly. How long did it take you? Well, during the project, uh, I was doing this for about a year because it had to, you had to start from scratch, you have to create the code, and uh, all those uh, in themselves, it's not easy. But of course, uh, like right now, if components are there, I'm able to assemble this one. I can do three a day. Serious? Yes, I can assemble three devices a day. Amazing. This is simply wow. And like we keep saying, we have creative thinkers in Zambia. We can literally do anything. What would you need? Well, uh, from here, uh, looking at uh, at the moment, of course, uh, I'm out of employment, mm. so this uh, will now be maybe my next target to be uh, in employment. So I'm not uh, going back into employment as an employee, mm -hmm. I'm going back into em employment as an employer. Indeed. So of course it's just a matter of uh, maybe serious investors uh, who can pump in the money, whereby we can set up uh, an assembly plant. And also, we're not just going to do one project, there are all those other projects I was mentioning, mm -hmm. whereby you want <coughs> to... Uh, bring about uh, tracking devices and also maybe uh, just other as as assembly plants because mm -hmm. there are quite a number of things we can be putting together for the uh, users to. I know there are bodies such as the Engineering Institute of Zambia. Exactly. Have got have they got a role to play in your? Uh, in this one, I think they will have it because uh, personally, I'm a full member of the Engineering Institution of Zambia. Yeah, so maybe it's just a matter of uh, once I uh, register the company, I think it also just mm -hmm. need to be uh, also affiliated to them. So like it just has to be registered. Mm. Has anybody of engineering knowledge looked at your project? Uh, at the moment, it's just at the school level. Yes, otherwise uh, it hasn't like uh, uh, gone out there. Mm. Yeah, so otherwise we are taking it out there because we want to improve the lives of the people. Mm. Yes. I want people to call you directly. Please give them your number. I am on 0977 Also, my email address is tutu, which is tutu dot zulu at outlook dot com. Let's support that which is Zambian, and that can only be projects such as this one, which is going to definitely realize make sure that our people benefit in terms of employment creation. And it's high time that Zambia produced something that we can say, wow, this is our own. Imagine the easy way of doing things, switching on and off gadgets such as this when you're far away from home. So it's not just restricted to bulbs. It can also be, uh, this type of wiring can also be used uh, even for a pressing iron. So for instance, if I want to turn on the iron, I'll just go on there. And then once it comes on here, it's a steam iron. Let's see if it start uh, getting hot. Okay, so while it acts, it's getting hot. What separates which gadget you are switching on from the one that you do not want? Okay, so what separates is the number of switches which you have. Yeah, so for instance, like these two here, I was, I'm using one switch, which is this one. Mm -hmm. But of course, I want them to be done independently. So there are these switches as well as uh, these relays. Mm -hmm. So the number of relays di detects the number of uh, things you can uh, switch off mm -hmm. uh, independently. And I've noticed that you have to switch on here. Uh, is it? Uh, no, it has to be on here. Oh, sorry. Yes, it has to. It has to be on here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So for uh, for for you, like to be successful, let's say if you have left home, and you are using an ordinary switch like that, it has to be on, and also where it is connected, also it has to be on. Okay. Yes. Then we are switching on and off from here. Exactly. But of course, if you want if you want to go the smart way, we can uh, provide you with uh, sockets like this, 
then connect everything internally there without the physical switch. Looks small and very portable. Exactly. So for those that would want to come and order these for now, for you to insert in their homes, where do they put this gadget? Okay, so this uh, gadget can be put, um, the best is to have it in the ceiling, okay. because that's the central place where you can connect uh, different rooms, mm. as well as uh, different uh, socket outlets and the like. And in the end, we may not even have these, isn't it? Exactly, exactly. Like even this, all those switches you, <laughs> you started with, all those will be a thing of the past. Because I've also noticed that currently, if you're building a house and you want to do the electric, uh, electric lights outside, there's only one solution. You have to put a photo cell. Mm. But this one also provides uh, another competition to the photo cell because you not just rely for, uh, for the night to come for them to, to come on. Like even when like we're doing some maintenance, it's easy because once in a while, you just walk around and then uh, turn on the things and just see which one is coming on and off. What they can do out there, we can do it even better. Find me on Facebook, I'm Samuel Machishi. On Twitter, I'm at Samuel Machishi. Tweet me, and I will tweet you back.